Suppose you wish to determine y values associated with x values for a chi-square distribution and obtain graphs. Well, let's look at an example. Suppose we have five degrees of freedom and we wish to know the y value associated with x equal two on a chi-square distribution. To do this, we will use the chi-square PDF command on the calculator. And the structure of the command is chi-square PDF, then the value, then a comma, and then the degrees of freedom. And then you can close up the command with a parenthesis. So let's see this. So we had second in theirs to get to the chi-square PDF. And that is the command we're after right there. So we'll select that command and enter in the value, for our example is 2, and then the degrees of freedom. So the value is about 0.138. And suppose we wish to see this graph. We can use the same command to generate a graph, but we will need to size up the window accordingly. So I will use the following dimensions for my window. The x min will be 0, the x max will be 15, the y min will be negative 0.2, and the y max is going to be evaluated at chi square PDF value of 3, and then comma 5. The mode is the highest point on the curve, and the mode for a chi-square distribution is the degrees of freedom minus 2 if the degrees of freedom are greater than 2. Otherwise, it's considered to be 0. So we'll go ahead and size up our window according to these dimensions, and then we'll be able to type in our function and graph it. So we have the scaling, and then we have the y min at negative 0.2. Then y max, again, we go under second in vars, go to the chi-square PDF command, and type in 3 for the value, and then the degrees of freedom for 5. And then we have the y scaling, I'll choose 1 tenth. Then we can go under here, the y equals menu, and then call up the chi-square PDF command, this time with x as its value. And then the degrees of freedom again are 5. And then we can hit graph. And there is our curve. That is what a chi-square distribution looks like with 5 degrees of freedom. And now let's find our value on the curve that we hit earlier. So we can go second trace to find the value on this curve, and we type in the value of 2. And we see that the cursor represents the location of the x-coordinate here and the y-coordinate here. And this is how you can use the chi-square PDF command on the TI-8384 calculators.